Here is a new episode of Building Battle, my dear friends. It's Noob from Minecraft with you. Today I'm going to make a family building challenge of Treehouse with my friends Bro, Hacker, and God. And while I will build it, I would like to tell you one breathtaking story about a group of friends who, after school, build the biggest treehouse. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's build! In the quiet town of Pinecrest, nestled amidst towering trees and rolling hills, lived a group of friends who were known far and wide for their laughter and camaraderie. Timmy, the creative thinker, Steve, the practical joker, Lily, the adventurous spirit, and Max, the wise-cracking genius, were inseparable. After a particularly boring day at school, they decided to embark on their most ambitious adventure yet to build the biggest, most incredible treehouse the world had ever seen. Little did they know that this endeavor would not only test their skills and creativity but also strengthen their bonds of friendship in ways they never imagined. After a long day of tedious classes and mundane homework, Timmy, Steve, Lily, and Max gathered at their usual spot under the old oak tree in Timmy's backyard. As they lounged on the grass, their minds buzzed with excitement and anticipation for their upcoming project. Guys, I've been thinking, Timmy announced, his eyes sparkling with enthusiasm. What if we built a treehouse? Not just any treehouse, but the biggest, most awesome treehouse ever. Are you serious? Steve exclaimed, sitting up straight. That sounds amazing. But how do we do it? We'll figure it out, Timmy replied confidently. We have each other, our brains, and plenty of resources. Plus, it'll be so much fun. Excited chatter filled the air as they began brainstorming ideas for their treehouse. Lily suggested adding a zip line, while Max proposed installing a secret trapdoor. Steve couldn't stop laughing at the thought of a slide that spiraled down from the top. As the sun dipped below the horizon, they made a pact to start planning the next day. Little did they know that their simple idea would soon blossom into an unforgettable adventure filled with laughter, friendship, and unexpected challenges. The next morning, the friends wasted no time getting to work on their grand project. Armed with sketchbooks, measuring tapes, and a whole lot of enthusiasm, they set out to find the perfect tree. After exploring the woods for what felt like hours, they stumbled upon a majestic oak that seemed to reach for the sky. This is it! Timmy exclaimed, his eyes shining with excitement. The giggle treehouse needs to be here! With renewed determination, they began mapping out their plans, carefully measuring the tree's trunk and branches. Steve took charge of gathering materials, while Lily and Max sketched out designs for the treehouse. They worked tirelessly, fueled by their shared vision and the thrill of creating something truly extraordinary. As days turned into weeks, their treehouse began to take shape. They constructed sturdy platforms and connected them with winding staircases. Steve's knack for gadgets came in handy as he installed a pulley system for transporting supplies up to the treetops. Lily's adventurous spirit led her to explore the surrounding area, finding hidden nooks and crannies to incorporate into their design. Max, with his sharp wit and clever ideas, kept everyone laughing and motivated even when the work seemed daunting. Despite their occasional setbacks and challenges, their spirits remained high. They laughed through mishaps and cheered each other on through moments of doubt. The treehouse became more than just a project, it became a symbol of their friendship and resilience. As the structure grew taller and more intricate, so did their bond. They shared stories, dreams, and inside jokes as they hammered, sawed, and painted. Each nail driven and beam placed was a testament to their teamwork and determination. Finally, after months of hard work and countless memories made, the Giggle Treehouse stood tall and proud, a testament to their friendship and creativity. As they stood admiring their masterpiece, the laughter that had fueled their journey echoed through the treetops, a reminder of the joy that comes from chasing dreams together. With the exterior of the Giggle Treehouse complete, the friends turned their attention to the interior. They wanted it to be not just a place to play, but a sanctuary, a place where they could escape the world and be themselves. Steve, always the prankster, insisted on installing a secret passage that led to a hidden room filled with joke books and silly props. Lily, with her love for nature, decorated the walls with vines and flowers, creating a whimsical, fairy tale atmosphere. Max, the thinker, designed a cozy reading nook with shelves full of books on every topic imaginable. 
As they worked on these details, they also worked on themselves. They learned to compromise and listen to each other's ideas. They discovered hidden talents and interests they never knew they had. Most importantly, they learned the true meaning of friendship, supporting each other through both the laughter and the tears. One evening, as they sat around a makeshift dinner table in the treehouse, they shared their hopes and fears for the future. Timmy confessed his fear of failure, worried that their treehouse might not live up to their expectations. Steve admitted to feeling pressure to always be the funny one, afraid that his friends wouldn't like the real him. Lily talked about her struggle to fit in at school, where her love for adventure in the outdoors was seen as weird. Max, usually the Joker, opened up about his insecurities, feeling like he always had to be the smartest person in the room. But as they talked and listened, they realized that they were not alone. They were a team, and together, they could overcome anything. They made a pact to always be there for each other, no matter what life threw their way. As they sat in their completed treehouse, surrounded by the laughter and love that had brought them together, they knew that they had created something truly special, the place where they could be themselves, where their friendship could grow and flourish, just like the vines that adorned its walls. One sunny afternoon, as they put the finishing touches on the interior, Steve suddenly burst out laughing. Imagine the look on Mrs. Jenkins' face when she sees this, he exclaimed, holding up a rubber chicken. Timmy chuckled. She'll probably think we've gone mad, but who cares? This treehouse is our own little slice of crazy. Lily joined in, arranging a bouquet of wildflowers in a vase. I can't wait to show my parents. They'll be so proud of what we've accomplished. Max, flipping through a joke book, grinned. And imagine all the new material I'll have for my stand-up routine. So, a tree, a squirrel, and a bunch of crazy kids walk into a bar. They laughed until their sides hurt reveling in the joy of their creation. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over their treehouse, they sat in contented silence, knowing that they had created something truly magical, the place where laughter reigned supreme and friendship knew no bounds. With the giggle treehouse complete, the friends wasted no time in making it their own. They spent hours playing games, telling stories, and sharing their deepest secrets. Every corner of the treehouse held a memory, a joke, or a prank waiting to be unleashed. I'm happy to see you again, my friends. It is me, Pro from Minecraft. I'm happy to see you again. My friend Noob made very cool treehouse, but I will try to build it even more interesting. And while I do this, I will continue to tell you an exciting story about our friends tree builders. Also like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start building. One sunny afternoon, as they lounged in hammocks strung between the branches, Lily suddenly sat up with a mischievous glint in her eye. I have an idea, she said. Her voice tinged with excitement. What if we threw a party in the treehouse? A celebration of our friendship and all the fun we've had building this place. Timmy and Steve exchanged a glance, their faces lighting up with enthusiasm. That sounds amazing. Steve exclaimed, we could invite all our friends and have a night of games, music, and of course, plenty of jokes. Max, always the voice of reason, raised a finger. But how do we get everyone up here? Not everyone can climb trees like us. We'll build a ladder, Timmy declared, jumping to his feet. A big, sturdy ladder that reaches all the way to the ground. It'll be like our own secret entrance. And so, the plan was set in motion. They spent days constructing the ladder, carefully ensuring that it was safe and stable. As word spread about the party, excitement grew. And soon, the day of the celebration arrived. The treehouse was transformed into a festive wonderland with colorful banners, twinkling lights, and a makeshift dance floor. As their friends arrived, they were greeted with laughter and hugs, welcomed into the warm embrace of the treehouse. 
The night was filled with laughter, music, and endless fun. They played games, told stories, and danced under the stars. As the party reached its peak, Timmy stood up, a twinkle in his eye. I have an announcement to make, he said, his voice ringing out over the crowd. This treehouse isn't just a place for us to hang out. It's a symbol of our friendship, our creativity, and our ability to dream big. So let's raise our glasses to the Giggle Treehouse. And too many more adventures together. Cheers erupted, echoing through the treetops as they raised their glasses in a toast to friendship, laughter, and the endless possibilities that lay ahead. As the days turned into weeks, the friends settled into a routine in their beloved treehouse. They spent their afternoons lounging in hammocks, reading books, and sharing their wildest dreams and deepest fears. But amidst the laughter and camaraderie, there was a sense of restlessness, a feeling that there was something more waiting to be discovered. One rainy afternoon, as they huddled together in the cozy reading nook, Timmy spoke up. I've been thinking, he said, his voice thoughtful. What if there's more to this treehouse than meets the eye? What if there are hidden secrets waiting to be uncovered? His words sparked a sense of excitement in the group. They began to search every nook and cranny, tapping walls and floors, looking for any sign of a hidden passage or treasure trove. Steve, with his keen eye for detail, noticed a loose floorboard near the entrance. Guys, look at this, he exclaimed, lifting the floorboard to reveal a small, hidden compartment. Inside, they found a dusty old journal filled with yellowed pages and faded ink. It looks like a diary, Lily said, flipping through the pages. But who does it belong to? Max, always the curious one, scanned the pages eagerly. It's written by someone named Samuel, he said, his eyes widening. He was the original owner of this treehouse, and it looks like he had quite the adventure here. As they read through Samuel's entries, they were transported back in time. They learned about his childhood adventures in the woods, his dreams of building the ultimate treehouse, and the challenges he faced along the way. They laughed at his silly jokes and marveled at his creativity. But as they reached the final entries, they noticed a change in Samuel's tone. His words became more somber, filled with regret and longing. He wrote about growing up, leaving behind his childhood dreams and the bittersweet memories of the treehouse. It's like he knew we would find this, Timmy mused, his voice tinged with awe. It's like he left this diary behind for us, to remind us to cherish our friendship and never stop dreaming. As they sat in silence, the rain tapping against the windows, they felt a deep sense of gratitude for the treehouse that had brought them together, and the adventures that lay ahead. They vowed to honor Samuel's legacy by continuing to laugh, dream, and explore the world around them. As they delved deeper into Samuel's diary, they uncovered more of his life story. They read about his struggles and triumphs, his joys and sorrows. They learned about the people who had shaped his life and the lessons he had learned along the way. One entry in particular caught their attention. It was written on the eve of Samuel's departure from Pinecrest, as he prepared to leave behind the treehouse that had been his sanctuary for so many years. I never thought I would find such true friendship in this little corner of the world. Samuel wrote, but these past few years with my friends have been the happiest of my life. We laughed together, cried together, and grew together. This treehouse has been more than just a place to play. It's been a home, a refuge, and a symbol of the enduring power of friendship. As the friends read these words, they felt a deep sense of connection to Samuel. They realized that they were part of a legacy, a legacy of laughter, love, and the unbreakable bonds of friendship. We have to honor Samuel's memory, Lily said, her voice filled with determination. We have to make sure that this treehouse continues to be a place of joy and laughter, just like it was for him. They spent the next few days brainstorming ideas for how to keep the spirit of the treehouse alive. They decided to host regular movie nights, game tournaments, and storytelling sessions. They also decided to invite other kids from the neighborhood to join in the fun, spreading the joy of the treehouse to everyone. As they worked on these plans, they felt Samuel's presence guiding them, urging them to make the most of their time together. They laughed and joked, knowing that they were creating memories that would last a lifetime. And as they looked out from the treetops, watching the sunset over the horizon, they knew that they were part of something special, a legacy of laughter and love that would live on in the hearts of all who visited the Giggle Treehouse. With Samuel's diary as their guide, the friends continued to breathe new life into the Giggle Treehouse. They welcomed new friends into their fold, sharing the magic of the treehouse with everyone who crossed its threshold. One summer evening, as they sat around a crackling campfire in the treehouse, Lily spoke up. I've been thinking, she said, her voice filled with excitement. What if we turned this treehouse into a community hub, a place where kids from all over the town 
could come together to play, learn, and grow. My friend Pro have made some very interesting treehouse build, but we should show them how professional hackers build it. And while I'm building, I'll continue to tell you the breathtaking story. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! With Samuel's diary as their guide, the friends continue to breathe new life into the Giggle Treehouse. They welcome new friends into their fold, sharing the magic of the treehouse with everyone who crossed its threshold. One summer evening, as they sat around a crackling campfire in the treehouse, Lily spoke up. I've been thinking, she said, her voice filled with excitement. What if we turned this treehouse into a community hub, a place where kids from all over the town could come together to play, learn, and grow? The idea sparked a flurry of activity. They began brainstorming ways to expand the treehouse, adding more rooms and features to accommodate larger groups. They enlisted the help of their parents and neighbors, who were eager to support their vision. As the treehouse grew, so did their sense of purpose. They organized workshops on art, music, and storytelling. They planted a garden to teach kids about nature and society sustainability. They even started a small library with books donated by the community. The treehouse became a beacon of hope and joy in Pinecrest, a place where kids could come to escape their worries and discover their passions. They hosted talent shows, movie nights, and community cleanup days, forging bonds that transcended age, background, and circumstance. But amidst all the excitement, there were moments of doubt and fear. Would they be able to sustain their vision? Would the treehouse become just another forgotten relic of childhood dreams? One rainy afternoon, as they sat in the treehouse, sipping hot cocoa and watching the raindrops dance on the windows, Timmy spoke up. I've been thinking, he said, his voice quiet but determined. We've come so far, but we can't do this alone. We need the support of our community to keep the spirit of the treehouse alive. His words struck a chord with everyone. They realized that they were not just building a treehouse, they were building a community. They reached out to local businesses, schools, and organizations, sharing their story and asking for help. And help came in abundance. The community rallied behind them, offering donations, volunteer hours, and words of encouragement. The treehouse became a symbol of unity and resilience, a testament to the power of friendship and the belief that together, anything is possible. As they stood in the treehouse, surrounded by the laughter and love of their community, they knew that they had achieved something truly remarkable. The Giggle Treehouse was no longer just their secret hideaway, it was a place where dreams were realized, friendships were forged, and the spirit of adventure lived on. The day of the grand unveiling of the gigantic Giggle Treehouse arrived with a buzz of excitement. In Pinecrest, the entire town had been eagerly anticipating the big reveal, and the friends couldn't wait to share their creation with everyone. As they put the finishing touches on the treehouse, they couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. The once modest treehouse had been transformed into a sprawling structure, with multiple levels, secret passages, and even a rooftop garden. The town had gathered in the park, where the treehouse stood tall and proud, adorned with colorful banners and twinkling lights. As the clock struck noon, Timmy stepped forward to address the crowd. Welcome everyone to the grand unveiling of the gigantic Giggle Treehouse, he announced, his voice ringing out with excitement. This treehouse is more than just a place to play, it's a symbol of our friendship, our creativity, and our community spirit. The crowd erupted into cheers and applause as Timmy continued to speak, sharing the story of how the treehouse had come to be. He talked about their journey, from the initial idea to the countless hours of hard work and dedication. He spoke of the challenges they had faced and the lessons they had learned along the way. As he finished his speech, the crowd fell silent, waiting in anticipation for the big reveal. With a dramatic flourish, Timmy pulled a giant lever, and the treehouse slowly began to rotate, revealing its full splendor. Gasps of awe filled the air as the crowd took in the sight before them. 
The treehouse was a masterpiece, with intricate carvings, vibrant murals, and whimsical decorations adorning every surface. A chorus of Uzandas filled the air as people marveled at the creativity and craftsmanship on display. But the true magic of the Giggle Treehouse wasn't just in its physical beauty, it was in the laughter and joy that filled its walls as the crowd explored the treehouse. Laughing and playing, the friends watched with tears of joy in their eyes, knowing that they had created something truly special, a place where dreams came true and friendships flourished as the sun set on Pinecrest, casting a golden glow over the treehouse. The friends gathered on the rooftop garden, surrounded by their loved ones and the twinkling lights of the town below. They raised their glasses in a toast of friendship, creativity, and the endless possibilities that lay ahead. As they looked out over the town, illuminated by the warm glow of the treehouse, they knew that this was just the beginning of their adventure. The gigantic Giggle Treehouse was not just a destination, it was a journey filled with laughter, love, and the promise of many more magical moments to come. Years passed, but the spirit of the Giggle Treehouse lived on in the hearts of the people of Pinecrest. The treehouse became a beloved landmark, a symbol of the town's resilience and creativity. The friends grew up, but their bond remained as strong as ever. They went their separate ways, pursuing their own dreams and adventures, but they always found their way back to the treehouse, where they laughed, reminisced, and made new memories. The treehouse became a gathering place for the community, hosting events, workshops, and celebrations. It was a place where kids could be kids, where imaginations ran wild, and where friendships were forged that would last a lifetime. As the years went by, the treehouse underwent many changes. It was renovated, expanded, and even rebuilt at one point, but its spirit remained unchanged. It continued to inspire laughter, creativity, and a sense of belonging in all who visited. And so, the legacy of the Giggle Treehouse lived on a testament to the enduring power of friendship, the joy of creativity, and the magic of childhood dreams. As long as there were kids with big imaginations and open hearts, the Giggle Treehouse would continue to be a place where laughter echoed through the treetops, reminding everyone that no matter how old you are, there's always room for a little bit of magic in your life. Years had passed since the friends had last visited the Giggle Treehouse. Life had taken them on different paths, filled with new adventures and challenges. But no matter how far they roamed, their memories of the treehouse and the bonds they had forged there remained close to their hearts. One summer day, as they gathered for a reunion in Pinecrest, they found themselves drawn back to the treehouse. They had heard rumors of its revival. A group of local kids had taken it upon themselves to restore the beloved structure to its former glory. As they approached the treehouse, they were greeted by a sight that took their breath away. The treehouse, once weathered and worn, now stood tall and proud. Its walls freshly painted with vibrant colors, its windows sparkling in the sunlight. Well, well, what cool buildings my friends have made. I like them very much. And you? I hope so too. I should also show them how to make a treehouse building. Well, at the same time, I will continue the story. I can't believe it, Lily exclaimed, her eyes shining with tears of joy. It looks even more beautiful than I remembered. The group climbed the familiar ladder their hearts pounding with excitement. As they entered the treehouse, they were met with a wave of nostalgia. The familiar smell of wood and paint, the creak of the floorboards underfoot. It was as if they had stepped back in time to their childhoods. The new owners had preserved many of the original features, including the secret passages, the rooftop garden, and even the old joke books they had left behind. But they have also added their own touches a new zip line, a hammock lounge, and a state-of-the-art sound system for movie nights. 
as they explored the treehouse, sharing stories and memories. They were joined by the children who had worked so hard to restore it. They listened with awe as the kids talked about their plans for the future community garden, a storytelling corner, and even a mini library. It's amazing to see how this treehouse continues to bring people together, Max said. His voice filled with emotion. It's a testament to the power of friendship and the enduring spirit of this place.